Hi, welcome to our channel English Professionally and this course is 115 conversations in English. Yeah, so I really hope this course is very special and useful. So it's for speaking, really. So if you want to speak English really well and make your vocabulary larger, this course is for you. There are 115 conversations in English, dialects on different topics. So watch all the video. It's also very good for your listening skills. You can see the text and listen to it at the same time. I really hope you enjoy this lesson. Yeah, so this course is very special and I prepared it for you. So enjoy it. Okay, so the first conversation is about advertising. Advertising. So what do you think about advertising? So this phrase is very good for speaking. What do you think about, for example, what do you think about advertising? What do you think about learning English online? What do you think about this channel? You know, it's really irritating. So it's really irritating. So it means I don't like it. So you can say irritating irritating or there is another word so it's annoying irritating so it's really irritating or it's really annoying it means it irritates it means it irritates it irritates me or you can also say it annoys me it annoys me so you don't like it so it's really irritating so a nice word next I perfectly understand you. I perfectly understand you. So if you understand another person really well, you can say I understand you well. I understand you very well. Or you can say I perfectly understand you. So it's a very good phrase if you want to speak English naturally. I perfectly understand you. Good. So, by the way, by the way, so it's a very powerful marketing tool. So, by the way, so it means, um, yeah, so by the way, or I'd also like to say, so if you don't know this uh, phrase, uh, you can say uh, something like that. So, I'd also like to say, I'd like, or I'd also like to say, it's a very powerful marketing tool. So, powerful. So, do you know a synonym? So, powerful or strong. Powerful or strong. So, it's a very powerful marketing tool. So, we say tool or there is another word which means the same instrument. So, marketing tool, marketing instrument. Marketing tool marketing instrument so you see that our conversations are for speaking they are full of very useful English phrases words and expressions and clearly explanations explanations in English powerful marketing too so let's revise it so advertising what do you think about advertising you know it's really irritating I perfectly understand you. By the way, it's a very powerful marketing tool. So you see, irritating or annoy. You can also say it irritates me or it annoys me. I'd also like to say, or oh, by the way, powerful or strong tool or instrument. Okay, so it's number one, conversation number one. Next, appearance. So what is appearance? It's how we look like. It's how we look like. It's how we look like. So, is it important for you how you look like? Sure. Sure. So, sure, a nice word. So, you can say sure. You can also say of course. You can say certainly. Certainly. Certainly, sure. Of course. Certainly. Or definitely. Definitely. It all means, it um, all means more or less the same. So it means, it means more or less, more or less the same. Good. So it means more or less 
the same. So sure, people often judge by appearance. So it's a nice phrase, judge by appearance. It means they form an opinion. They form an opinion about you looking at your appearance. So they form an opinion. They form an opinion. Good. They form an opinion or they have an opinion. Uh, an opinion about you. So when they look, when they look at your appearance. Yeah. So for example, <laughs> you know, if someone so has bad clothes, so uh, they can think that he has a bad job or something like that. So you see appearance, how we look like. So is it important for you how you look like? Sure, people often judge by appearance. So they form an opinion about you. So you can say sure, of course, certainly, definitely. It means more or less the same. Okay, so next, arguing. So it's when you disagree. It's when you disagree with someone. When you disagree with someone. It's when you disagree with someone. Okay, so you see. Do you get on well? Disagree. Do you get on well with your, all your friends and acquaintances? So get on is a phrasal verb. Is a phrasal verb. So please have a look at our playlist on phrasal verbs. Yeah, so I think that uh, you'll know lots of interesting information. It means, uh, so do you have good relations? Do you have, do, you can say, do you get on well? Or have good relations. Have good relations. Have good relations or get on well with all your friends and acquaintances. So friends and acquaintances. So it means distant friends. Acquaintances, distant friends distant friends so not close friends not close friends distant friends so do get on well with your friends and acquaintances i try to do it but it's rather difficult i try to do it but it's rather difficult so please keep in mind that we mostly use rather before a negative adjective negative so please compare compare it's quite easy, it's quite easy, and it's rather, you see, and it's rather difficult, it's rather difficult. So we put quite before a positive adjective, like easy, good, it's quite good, and rather before a negative, and before a negative, so <sighs> adjective. And I think it's okay that we train our listening skills yeah, we train our speaking skills and we also focus on grammar. So I think it's a good idea actually to have a look at different grammar structures. Okay, next. I suppose, I suppose. So you can say I think, but you know, if you say I think too often, so it's simple and maybe not so natural. So it's good to use different phrases and you can use I suppose instead of I think. So I suppose that the most difficult thing is to get on well with your enemies. So get on is a phrasal word. So as we have already said, so get on well means to have good relations with your enemies. Yeah, strange enemies. So people who are not our friends. So it's the opposite word, it's the opposite w word. So enemies, not friends, like good and bad. So good and bad, opposite words, friends and enemies. So these are opposite words. So, but sometimes you have to talk to different people. So look, have to, have to is, you know, a modal verb, is a modal verb. So you can say sometimes you must talk to different people. Do you know the difference? Do you know the difference between have to and must? So look, compare. I must, you know, I must learn English, so it's my choice. And I have to wear uniform, so you have no choice. And maybe you don't like it. So if you have no choice and you don't like it, we use have to. Look, sometimes you have to talk to different people. 
Okay, so let's have a look at this conversation. So conversation number number three. One more time. So you see it. Onion, when you disagree with someone, do you get on well with all your friends and acquaintances? I try to do it, but it's rather difficult. I suppose that the most difficult thing is to get on well with your enemies. Sometimes you have to talk to different people, so you can say have good relations or get on decent friends or acquaintances quite easy. So be before positive adjectives and rather before negative adjectives, like rather difficult, good. So the next conversation or the next dialogue is about beauty. So beauty, it's a noun, yeah? It's a noun, it's a noun. So you see, it's a noun and beautiful and beautiful it's an adjective it's an adjective it means full of beauty full of beauty okay do you think that beauty will save our world what a nice phrase what a beautiful phrase do you think that beauty will save our world so i know this saying i know this saying it means um, i know this saying or i know this um, phrase i know this saying or i know this uh, phrase i know this phrase however it's a very nice word for speaking however however so you can say however or but or but but you know that we don't put but at the beginning of the sentence so really however has a meaning of but but we don't put it at the beginning of the sentence or however or anyway you can also say anyway anyway but it means but so i do think that it's important to have a beautiful soul so do think it's an inversion it's inversion do you know this thing inversion so you can say i really think i really think or i do think so do think means i really think it's an inversion we put do before a verb so i can say that um, i really i really like it i really like it or you can say i do like it so it's english grammar i do like it so you see good i do think that it's important to have a beautiful soul too so beautiful soul it means to be a good person to be a good person yet yeah, do good things not bad things not okay not just a good body not just a good body good so beauty it's a noun and beautiful is an adjective do you think that beauty will save our world i know this saying i know this phrase however i do think that it's important to have a beautiful soul too not just a good body so you can say however anyway so it means but and uh, i think that you knew something interesting and you may be about such a thing as inversion so you can say i really think or i do think i really like it or i do like it okay so books what kind of books do you usually read so you can say what kind of or what sort of what kind of books do you usually read i mostly read english books so you can say mostly or mainly i mostly read english books yeah very good phrases what kind of or what sort of and mostly and mainly so i mostly read english books i mean simplified ones so you can say simplified simplified or you can say or you can say adapted, adapted. So it means not full, not full, not in the original, not full, not in the original, not in the original. So you see, I mean simplified ones. I hope I'll start reading English books in the original next year. So look, start reading. Why do we use ing start reading please remember we say start doing something start doing something so start 
plus verb, plus verb, plus ing. So we we often say so. Start doing something. So, for example, I'll start. So I'll start learning English more intensively. I'll start learning English more intensively. Let me give you this example. I'll start learning English. I'll start learning English more intensively. It means harder, more intensively or harder. Start doing something. I'll start learning English more intensively. Oh, sorry for my bad typing skills. Okay, so start plus verb plus ing. So books. What kind of books do you usually read or what sort of books do you usually read? I mostly read English books or I mainly read English books. Okay, so I mean simplified ones. I hope I'll start reading English books in the original next year. So you say uh, start, yeah, you say simplified or adapted, not full, not in the original. And please remember start doing something. Start plus verb plus ing. I'll start learning English more intensively. Good. Let's talk about business. Would you like to have your own business? Your business or your own business? Would you like to have your own business? So own, it means uh, that belong to you. That will belong. That will belong to you. That belongs to you or that will belong to you. I think not. It's so risky. Risky. So please remember this adjective. It means uh, there is, um, it's full of risks. So risky, it means it's full of risks. Full of risks. I prefer to work for someone. It makes me feel safe. It makes me feel safe. It means that I feel safe. I feel safe. And you know, this phrase, it's about grammar. Make somebody, make somebody do something. Make somebody do something. So it makes me feel safe. So it means I feel safe. I feel safe because of it. I feel safe because of it. Good. I feel safe because of it. So I'll make, I can say I'll make you. I'll make you. I'll make you uh, speak English fluently. I'll make you speak English fluently. I'll make you speak English fluently. It means that you'll speak English fluently because of me and I'll help you. I'll help you to do it. I'll try. I'll try, really. I'll try to do my best to help you. So it's very important to speak English fluently. Okay, so business. Would you like to have your own business? So that will belong to you. I think not. It's so risky. I prefer to work for someone. It makes me feel safe. Yeah, makes me feel. It's a good phrase. Yeah, and own business. Good. So it's full of risks. So please remember this structure. Make somebody do something. I feel safe because of it. So I'll make you speak English fluently. Good. Next. Businessman. Would you like to become a businessman. So you can say, would you like to become or would you like to be a businessman? Would you like, you often ask it this way, would you like to become a businessman? Okay, it's an absolutely fascinating idea. So you can say it's a good idea, it's a very good idea, but it's mostly for beginners. If you want to speak English naturally, fluently, like native speakers, so you need to use more advanced vocabulary. Yeah, vocabulary. So you can say it's a fascinating idea, but absolutely it's like very. So please remember this thing that we put absolutely before strong adjectives. We put absolutely, we put absolutely before, before strong adjectives. We put absolutely before strong adjectives. So you can say, so it's a very good idea. It's a very good idea. It's a very good idea. Or it's an absolutely fascinating idea. So fascinating is a strong adjective and you can't say very fascinating. No, it isn't correct. So it's an absolutely fascinating idea. I feel that I need financial freedom. Financial freedom and independence. 
So fr freedom, financial freedom. So what is financial freedom? So when you have enough money, I am not afraid of difficulties. Please remember, afraid of. You use preposition of after afraid. I am not afraid of difficulties or I am not afraid of problems, troubles and so on. So businessman, would you like to become a businessman? It's an absolutely fascinating idea. I feel that I need financial freedom and independence. I am not afraid of difficulties. We put absolutely before strong adjectives. Please remember it. So it's a very good idea. Yeah, for example, you can say uh, this lesson is very good. This lesson is very good. You can write it in the comments if you do it. I'll be very happy. Or you can say that this lesson, this lesson is absolutely, is absolutely, is absolutely fantastic. Fantastic. This lesson is absolutely fantastic. You can say it's fantastic. But you know, this sentence is absolutely fantastic, it sounds stronger. So the lesson is very good, or the lesson is absolutely fantastic. Okay, so, cars. So, do you have a car? Yes, I have. So you can ask, do you have a car, or have you got a car? It's very reliable and comfortable. So, what is reliable? It means it's very good. You can rely on it. You can rely on it. Rely on it so it doesn't uh, break down. So it doesn't break down so often. It means yeah, it doesn't break down. It doesn't break down so often. It doesn't break down so often. It's very reliable and comfortable. So reliable. Yeah, you can rely on it. If you can't rely on it, you say unreliable. Yeah, reliable and comfortable. Where was your car produced? In Japan where was your car produced in Japan so look at the structure was your car produced its passive voice its passive voice past simple its passive voice past simple so we form it was were plus past participle plus past participle or was were plus the third forum plus the third forum Look, produce, produced, produced. So if it, uh, you know, if it, uh, if it happens uh, by someone, so look, was your car produced? It means someone produced this this car. So you know, cars can't produce themselves. Cars can't produce themselves. So someone produces cars. Someone produced cars. So and you need to use passive voice. Look was were plus past participle so where where was the car produced so cars do you have a car yes i have it's very reliable and comfortable where was your car produced in japan so look rely on it so it's reliable i can rely on it so it doesn't break down so often so breakdown is a phrasal verb so passive voice past simple was were plus past participle or the third forum so Next, nine, charity, charity. So what do you think about charity? So I think that you'll understand the meaning of this word if you don't know it. So in this context, in this conversation. So I think it's a good idea to help poor people, poor people. Yeah, so charity is um, oh, when you give money uh, to some organizations which uh, help poor people so what about people with disabilities what about people with disabilities so uh, maybe it means people uh, who have different problems with health maybe with their leg arm uh, maybe, maybe mental problems uh, problem with their mind so disabil uh, disabilities people with disabilities I also think they need our protection. I also think they need our protection. So we need to protect them. So, you know, because... Um, so what is charity? Charity for people... For, it's usually charity for poor people and for people with disabilities. Okay, charity. What do you think about charity? I think it's a good idea to help poor people. What about people with disabilities? I also think they need our protection. Next. Cheating. Huh. 
chicken. Do you know this word chicken? So what you added it the words chicken. So you can ask what you added it towards or what do you think about chicken? What do you think about chicken? So I believe that if you want to know something really well, you need to do without it. So you don't you don't need to cheat, you don't need to cheat. So you know, lots of students, lots of students do it during the exam. So just imagine it, just imagine it. You have an exam and you don't know, you don't know anything and you have some papers maybe in your pockets and then you uh, look at uh, it from time to time and you copy and you copy it down. So you copy this information. So it's, it isn't your knowledge. So it isn't your knowledge. It isn't good. It isn't good. So, you know, and it's illegal. It's illegal. So in the exam. So you need to do without it. So train your memory and other skills. Train your memory and other skills. Really? So I think that if you train your memory and other skills, you can do without cheating. So really, it's um, better to show your results. But you know that cheating is very popular in some countries. In some countries, cheating is very popular. But personally, I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay, so what's your attitude towards cheating? I believe that if you want to do something really well, you need to do without it. Train your memory and other skills. Good. Childhood. Childhood. Do you remember your childhood? Or do you remember the time when you were a child? Yeah, it was such a wonderful time. It was such a wonderful time. We were very young and naive. Naive. We were very young and naive. Yeah, you see, we say such plus a or an plus adjective plus adjective plus noun. Look, he is, he is, for example, such a nice person. He is such a nice person. Yeah, plus noun. If we don't have a noun, we say so plus adjective look he is so nice he is so nice if you if you have a noun you use such if you have a noun after the adjective you use such he is such a nice person or so plus adjective he is so nice look childhood do you remember your childhood yeah it was such a wonderful time we were very young and naive such a or n plus adjective plus noun he is such a nice person. So plus adjective. He is so nice. Good. Children. Do you think you were a difficult child? I think not. Anyway. So yeah, we talked about this phrase. So you can say anyway, however, or but. So anyway, when I was a teenager, my parents and I often had often had some kind of misunderstanding. Okay, so you see, some kind of misunderstanding, it means that we misunderstood each other. We misunderstood each other. We misunderstood each other. We didn't understand each other. We didn't understand each other or we misunderstood. We misunderstood. We misunderstood each other. We misunderstood each other. Okay, misunderstanding or we misunderstood each other. So, children, uh, do you think you were a difficult child? I think not. Anyway, when I was a teenager, my parents and I often had some kind of misunderstanding. Yeah, so please look at this phrase, my parents and I. So, we often say it, my friends and I, my parents and I often had some kind of misunderstanding. So some kind of, it's also a very good phrase for speaking, some kind of misunderstanding. Good. So classmates, classmates. So do you get on well with your classmates? So get on means have good relations. We talked about it. So classmates are people who study with you in the same grade or forum. Yeah? So they study with you. They study with you. We study with you in the same, in the same grade, in the same grade or forum. 
yeah, that's it. Yeah, it means that's right. Or yeah, that's it. So I have several very good friends. So you can say several or some. I have some very good friends. I have several very good friends. It's so funny. We often have a great time together. Please remember these phrases. Have a good time or have a great time. So have a great time, you know, it's stronger. So have a great time. We often have a great time together. So classmates, they study with you in the same grade or form. So you do get on well with your classmates. Yeah, that's it. I have several very good friends. It's so funny. We often have a great time together. So please remember, have a good time and have a great time. Okay, next. Let's talk about clothes. Let's talk about clothes. What kind of clothes do you usually wear? So we also talked about it. So you can ask what kind of or what sort of. So these phrases sound very natural. So what kind of clothes do you usually wear? What kind of books do you read? So what kind of movies do you watch? And so on. You know, I don't really like it. So, you know, we often use it. So, you know, you know, you know, I don't really like it. So, actually, yeah, you often meet it in different conversations. You know, I don't really like fashionable clothes. So, fashionable clothes means maybe stylish, stylish, stylish and popular, stylish and popular. So, I prefer to wear something uh, casual or something ordinary. Something ordinary, something ordinary, something casual or something ordinary. So clothes, what kind of clothes do you usually wear? You know, I don't really like fashionable clothes. I prefer to wear something casual. So stylish and popular, so it's fashionable clothes and ordinary means casual clothes. Good. What about communication, communication? So do you have friends who live abroad? Really, very from, very from. Are you from, you know, are you from the United States? Are you from Brazil? Are you from India? Really, very from. <laughs> unfortunately, not. Unfortunately, not. So it's in my plans. So at most, unfortunately, it means it's a pity. It's a pity. It's a pity. So. I feel sad that it isn't true. So it's a pity. Unfortunately, not. It's in my plans. I mean, I'd like to. Yeah, good phrase. I mean, it means that. Um, what I mean is. So you can say I mean, or I mean. So when you explain, so you use this uh, phrase. Or uh, when you explain something, when you explain something, or when you give more information so you can say I mean or what I mean what I mean what I mean what I mean uh, is that what I mean is that or I mean so I'd like to make friends who live in another country please remember we say make friends so we use the word make with friends make friends please remember it who live in another country so when do we use another and when do we use other? So do you know it? Do you know it? When do we use another? So do you know it when we use another and other? So we use another before one. So another country and we use other before more than one, before many, two, three or more. So other countries. So you say another country. Look. You say another country and other and other countries and other countries. So good. So communication. Do you have friends who live abroad? Unfortunately not. It's in my plans. I mean, I'd like to make friends who live in another country. What for? For English practice and for fun. So it's a pity. It means unfortunately. I mean... So you use it when you explain something or when you give more details. Or you can also say, what I mean is that. So, yeah, and we say another before one, another country and other before more than one, other countries. Good. So what about computers? 
Are you good at computers? It means do you understand? Do you understand lots of things connected with computers? Do you understand a lot about computers? So we say good at, good at or bad at. So you can say, for example, I'm good at English. It means I know English well or I'm bad at English if you don't know it well. Okay, so I good at computers. I think I'm quite good. I think I'm quite good. So, would you like to connect your life with computers? We'll see. I don't know it right now. So, you can say, I don't know it right now, I don't know it now, or I don't know it at present. It's another phrase which means so the same. I don't know it right now, I don't know it now. So, good. So, computers. Are you good at computers? I think I'm quite good. Would you like to connect your life with computers? We'll see. I don't know it right now. I don't know it present. So, connect your life. Uh, it means that would you like to do it in your future? So, would you like, you know, yeah, to have a job connected with computers? Yeah, and please remember good or bad at I'm good at English or I'm bad at English. Well, so, conflicts. Conflicts. Do you think that conflicts are inevitable? Inevitable. So conflicts or uh, some disagreement. It's about disagreement. It's about uh, disagreement. So do you think that conflicts are inevitable? It means that we can't do without them. So we can't avoid them. We can't avoid them. We can't do. We can't do without them. We can't do without them that uh, conflicts uh, will be all the time. It means that conflicts uh, conflicts will be all the time. Conflicts will be all the time. So inevitable. So who knows? But it's better to resolve them as soon as possible. So it's, it's better actually uh, to solve this problem or to resolve them as soon as possible. As soon as possible means very quickly, very quickly, very quickly. Good phrase, so resolve a conflict, please remember it. And we usually say uh, solve a problem, yeah, please remember it. Uh, solve a problem, solve uh, a problem, and we often hear resolve, resolve a conflict, a conflict, resolve a conflict. Yeah, very nice uh, phrases. Okay, so, and uh, as soon as possible, as soon as possible. So, conflicts, so it's about disagreement. Do you think that conflicts are inevitable? Who knows? But it's better to resolve them as soon as possible, very quickly. So, inevitable means we can't avoid them, we can't do without them. So, conflicts will be all the time. So, and uh, please uh, have a look at these very useful phrases or expressions. Uh, so, save a problem or resolve a conflict. Well, next. So, what is next? It's corruption. Corruption, yeah. Corruption. So, is corruption a big problem in your country? So, you know, really, that it's often a big problem in some countries. So, corruption, yeah. So, I'm not a businessman, but I often hear uh, that there are lots of things which can be improved. Look, corruption, or, you know, if you actually uh, listen to native speakers, they often say red tape or bureaucracy. Red tape or bureaucracy. So, red, red tape or bureaucracy. But corruption is more, it's stronger. It's illegal. So, it's illegal. So, it's illegal. Uh, it means um, uh, that maybe it's about bribes. Bribes. Yeah, I will tell you what it means. So, red tape or bureaucracy, red tape or bureaucracy, so, and, you know, it's illegal, 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 so, uh, you know, illegal, and uh, please, uh, uh, there is such a word as bribe, 
So take bribes, please remember this phrase that uh, sometimes people take bribes. So they take money illegally. Take money, it means take money, take money illegally, take money illeg illegally. Okay, so for example, yeah, uh, you want to do something and uh, you can't uh, do it and you offer money and you offer money. So if he takes this money, it means to take a bribe. And uh, people uh, take bribes if uh, the level is uh, corruption is very high. So when you take money illegally. So red tape, you know, there is bureaucracy, uh, too many procedures, uh, too many documents. And uh, corruption is illegal because, you know, I think that bureaucracy and corruption are connected or are closely connected, are closely connected with each other. Okay, so next. Is corruption a big problem in your country? I'm not a businessman, yeah, but I often hear that lots of things, so you can say lots of, yeah, lots of or a lot of, a lot of or lots of things uh, which can be improved, can be improved, which can be made better, which can be made better. So if you want to make your English better, you can say I want to speak English better or I want to improve. I want to improve my English. I want to improve my English. Good. And this phrase can be improved is mostly for intermediate for intermediate and upper intermediate students. Why? Because it's passive voice with a model verb. So it's passive voice. It's a passive voice with a model verb. With a model verb. Yeah, just imagine it. Passive voice with a model verb. So it can be a plus the third form or plus plus participle, which can be improved because uh, they can be brought by someone. So it's passive voice with a model verb. So if you like this idea, uh, we, can, uh, we can record more videos, video courses on grammar with exercises, with exercises in uh, these uh, courses. Good. So corruption, yeah, red tape illegal, take bribes, uh, take money illegally. So is corruption a big problem in your country? I'm not a businessman, but I often hear there are lots of things which can be improved. So we say a lot of or lots of, please remember it. You can say I have a lot of friends or I have lots of friends. Okay, improved or made better. So improve, it means really to make better. I want to improve my English. So it's passive voice with a model verb. Okay, next, countries. What countries? have you already visited what countries have you already visited yeah do you know the structures have you already visited so we use have plus past participle it's present perfect it's present perfect i think that you remember how we form this uh, tense have has uh, plus uh, past participle have has plus past participle or have has plus the third forum. Yeah, and uh, there are some words. If you use these words, you need to use a present perfect. And so you use present perfect if you have already, already. Yeah, so what kind of have you already visited? So we use present perfect here because of already. I've been to England and China. I've been to England in China. Good. So the question is in present perfect and the answer is naturally in present perfect too. I've been to England and China and please remember that we say been to. Yeah, been to. So been to in present perfect. So if you want to say in past simple, you say it. Look, if you want to say it uh, in past simple, you say I was in uh, England, I was in China, I was in Brazil, I was in Russia, I was in Japan and so on. Yeah, that's okay. But if it's present perfect, use to after being. Please remember, it's a very common mistake. And please have a look at our course, I think at our great course, 200 mistakes in English with different explanations. Yeah, check our playlists. So you see, I've been to England and China and I'm going to visit Japan next year. Going to, a very good phrase, I'm going to do something. Uh, going to do something, uh, it means 
it's your it's about your plans so it's in your plans you can say I'm going I'm going to do it I'm going to do it or I'm planning to do it or I'm planning to uh, do it say so I'm going to do it or I'm planning to do it it's in your plans so it's in your plans to visit Japan next year good so countries what countries have you already visited I've been to England and China I'm going to visit Japan next year so present perfect we form it this way have has plus past participle yeah if you have past simple you say was in but been to in present perfect and please uh, keep in mind these two phrases too I'm going to do it or I'm planning to do it okay so next 20 uh, countries Russia so have you ever been to Russia never but I do think this country is worth visiting look we talked about it so it's inversion it's inversion so you can say I do think or I really think I really think good or I really think and uh, yeah I do think is worth visiting it's a very nice uh, structure it means that it's a good idea to visit this country please this you can say this country is worth visiting this book is worth reading so this lesson this lesson is worth watching this lesson is worth watching it means it's a good idea it's a good idea to watch or to watch this lesson it's a good idea to read this book and so on so countries Russia have you ever been to Russia never but I do think this country is worth visiting inversion I do think means I really think so this book is worth reading this lesson is worth watching good so countries England have you ever been to England look we talked about it that we used to after being in present perfect and why and why do we use present perfect because of ever please remember if you have ever you need to use present perfect so you know how we form it have or has have or has plus past participle or plus the third form so it's a typical structure have you ever have you ever done it have you ever been there have you ever bought it and so on twice twice means two times it really helped me improve my English it really helped me improve my English so you can say it really helped me to improve my English but this variant is also correct it really helped me improve my English so improve means make it better it really helped me make it better so countries England have you ever been to England twice it really helped me improve my English so please remember it yeah we're talking about present perfect present perfect we often use it in speaking so you know that we have a good video course all tenses in English uh, with examples please have a look at it and uh, there are different exercises in this course too so present perfect have has plus past participle have you ever done it good so countries USA USA or yeah so yeah USA yeah 22 or United States United States of America the United States of America USA or the United States of America so have you ever been to the USA been to yeah so not yet it means not yet no I hope I'll go to New York for about two weeks next month I hope I'll go to New York for about say for two weeks but for about means maybe or two weeks uh, plus one day or two weeks minus day about two weeks or approximately two weeks uh, next month good so countries USA United States of America have you ever been to the USA not yet I hope I'll go to New York for about two weeks next month 
Good. So, countries, Australia. Have you ever been to Australia? I was there about three years ago. So, look, the question is in present perfect because of ever. Have you ever been? Yeah, you can say I have never been there or I have been there twice, three times. But if you have a go, if you have a go, you need to use past simple. So, if you have a go, you need to use past simple even though the question is in present perfect. So, I was there about three years ago. It's still in my memory. It means that I still remember it. I had a great time there. It was unforgettable. It was unforgettable. So, it's difficult to forget. So, it was fantastic, unforgettable. So, countries, Australia. Have you ever been to Australia? I was there about three years ago. It's still in my memory. I had a great time there. It was unforgettable. So, if you have a go, you use past simple. Next. Countries, Spain. Have you ever been to Spain? You know, I've been there four times. I've been there four times. So, if you say uh, twice or two times, two times, uh, three times, three times, yeah, uh, many times, many times, you need to use present perfect. It's grammar. You need to use uh, present perfect. So, have you ever been to Spain? Yeah, to Spain because of been, been to. You know, I've been there four times. So, we use present perfect because we have four times. I can speak Spanish fluently. I can speak Spanish uh, fluently. Yeah, so uh, yo hablo el español, uh, puedo hablar el español, uh, pero uh, creo que mi nivel uh, de español no es uh, uh, tan alto, uh, pero uh, no es problema, no es problema para mí. Uh, si quieres, uh, podemos, um, uh, si sí, podemos hablar el español. Uh, me gusta, me gusta uh, este idioma muchísimo. Gracias, amigos. Oh, oh really? Really, uh, I can speak uh, Spanish, but uh, I haven't uh, been speaking it for a long time. But uh, if I refresh my knowledge, uh, I think that um, I can speak it. Uh, yeah, uh, you see my knowledge. <laughs> you see my knowledge. Okay. So, I can speak uh, Spanish uh, fluently. Good. So, have you ever been to Spain? You know, I've been there four times. I can speak Spanish fluently. Please remember this phrase. Speak Spanish fluently. Speak English uh, fluently. It means that you can speak it fast and without any problems. So, I want to speak English fluently. I want to speak English fluently. Good. Yeah. Countries Italy. Have you ever been to Italy? Yeah, it's a question. You know, it's my dream. It's my dream to visit this amazing country. It's my dream to visit. It's my dream to visit. It's infinitive. This amazing. It means this wonderful, this wonderful country. Yeah, and you? Okay. Well, so, next. Countries. China. Have you ever been to China? So, we use to because of been. Been to. And we use present perfect because of ever. Have you ever been to China? Have you ever been to China? Sure. It means certainly, of course. I do business and most of my partners are there. Please remember these phrases. Do business but make money. Do business but make money. Okay. So, country is China. Have you ever been to China? Sure. I do business and most of my partners are there. So, do business and make money. Good. Crime. Do you think there is a high crime rate in your country? Crime rate means uh, a high level of crime. So, do you think there is a high crime rate? Yeah. Crime rate, a high crime, crime rate or a high level of crime in your country? I believe. So, we can say differently we can say it differently so i think yeah i suppose i believe i believe uh, the situation is getting better and better so it's present continuous 
so we use present continuous so if we say for example better and better worse and worse and so on we use present continuous it's happening now it's happening now is getting so is plus verb plus ing there is no need to worry nowadays there is no need to worry nowadays now or now so we don't need to worry it's okay there is no need to worry so why are you worried it's okay so crime you see, do you think there is a high crime rate in your country? I believe the situation is getting better and better. There is no need to worry nowadays. So we can say, I think, I suppose, I believe. Good. So dating. Dating. So dating. So, yeah, you know, when a boyfriend meets with a girlfriend. So it's about love. It's about love. Yeah, it's about love. So, you know, when a boyfriend meets with a girlfriend or when, you know, a girl uh, meets with a boy, yeah, and uh, they want uh, yeah, to know more about each other. They want to get to know each other. Maybe they, they meet somewhere. They meet somewhere. Okay, so do you remember your first date? So your first meeting with a girl, yeah, <laughs> or with a boy, so... Yeah, do you remember your first date? So I felt so worried. First date, yeah, good phrase. I felt so worried. I had no experience at all. No experience. Yeah, I had no experience at all. So dating, it's about love. So do you remember your first date? I felt so worried. I had no experience at all. Yeah, so the next thing, yeah, it's very sad. So you see it, deaf. So when people die, death. Are you afraid of death? You say afraid of. Are you afraid of death? I think everyone is afraid of it. So let's drop the subject. Let's drop the subject or let's change the subject. Please, very good phrase. Let's drop the subject or let's change. Let's change the subject. Yeah. So I think everyone is afraid of it. So everyone means he, she, it. So we use is. I think everyone is afraid of it. Let's drop this subject. Okay, no problem. We can change the subject. So deaf. Are you afraid of deaf? I think everyone is afraid of it. Let's drop the subject or let's change it. Good. Next, destiny. Destiny. So yeah, some facts. It's about uh, some facts in our life. Some facts in our life yeah so will they happen or not so do you believe in destiny i feel that our future is in our hands it depends on us please remember we say depend on so it depends on us yeah so destiny some facts in our life so will they happen or not do you believe in destiny I feel that our future is in our hands. It depends on us. Good. So diets. So what can we say about it? So would you like to go on a diet? So please remember, go on a diet. Would you like to go on a diet? Why not? A good phrase means why not? Maybe it's a good idea. Why not? I'd like to lose a couple of kilos. I'd like to lose a couple of kilos. It means two kilos. Couple means two. So we say go on a diet. Then we say put on weight. Put on weight. Or we say gain weight. Gain weight. So if we gain, yeah, gain. So if um, if you have more kilos, if you weigh more, yeah. Or we say lose weight lose weight so it has the opposite meaning yeah diets would you like to go on a diet why not i'd like to lose a couple of kilos so put on weight gain weight and lose weight next disabilities yeah we talked about it so it's uh, problems with health it's problems with health yeah problems serious problems serious problems with serious problems with health so how can we help people with disabilities i suppose they need more personal attention 
Moreover, moreover, additional money should be given to them. Additional money should be given to them. So look, moreover means more than that, more than that, or in addition, in addition to it, in addition uh, to it. So it means moreover. Additional means extra. Additional means extra. It means more, more money, extra money should be given to them. And this structure is passive voice, should be given by someone. So we use a passive voice, a passive voice with a model verb, with a model verb, with a model verb, passive voice with a model verb. So should be plus past participle or plus the third form should be given to them. So disabilities, serious problems with health. How can we help people with disabilities? I suppose they need more personal attention. Moreover, additional money should be given to them. More than that, or in addition to it, or moreover, additional means extra or more. And we see so that we have passive voice with a model verb. So should be plus past participle or plus the third form. Good. Disasters. Disasters. So, are you afraid of some disasters? Yeah, so I think that you understand it. So, you know, there was a very big earthquake in our country three years ago. Yeah, disasters. Earthquake. Earthquake. There was a very big earthquake in our country three years ago. It, it was a complete nightmare. Yeah, it's a phrase, nightmare. So, when you uh, sleep and you see something bad, in your dreams, we say it's a nightmare. It means that it was terrible. It was terrible. It was uh, terrible. If you want to, if you want to make it sound stronger, uh, you can say it was. You know, terrible is a strong adjective, so you use absolutely. It was absolutely terrible. It was absolutely terrible, or it was terrible. So disasters. Are you afraid of uh, some disasters? Yeah. Uh, or are you, you know, are you afraid of uh, disasters? Yeah, or, you know, there was a very big earthquake in our country. So, yeah, you see, uh, good. So, I'm afraid of disasters such as, um, for example, such as, and uh, then, for example, uh, he interrupts, he or she interrupts you and say, you know, there was uh, a very big earthquake in our country three years ago. It was a complete nightmare. So it was absolutely terrible. All right, so discrimination. What do you think about discrimination? I am against it. It means I don't like it. Everyone should have equal rights. Equal means the same, the same rights, the same rights, equal rights. So discrimination. What do you think about discrimination? I'm against it. Yeah, it's 34. I'm against it. Everyone should have equal rights or the same rights. Good. Easter. So, you know, it's um, a great religious holiday in Christianity. Yeah. So are you... A religious person I can't say that I go to church every Sunday but I celebrate Easter it's the main religious holiday in Christianity in Christianity is the main religious holiday in Christianity yeah so Easter and uh, new words maybe for you Christianity you know it's uh, the main religious holidays for Christians for Christians good so next education would you like to get a good education? Certainly. So we thought that we can say certainly, sure, of course. It will help me find a better job. So you see, we say find a job, find a job, and we also talked about it. So you can say it will help me to find, or you can say it without to. It will help me find a better job. So would you like to get a good education? Certainly. It will help me find a better job. Good. Entertainment. Entertainment or fun. Or fun. So what kind of entertainment do you prefer or do you like? 
computer games, I can play them all day long. So this phrase all day long means for many hours, for many hours really. Entertainment, fun. What kind of entertainment do you prefer? Computer games. I can play them all day long. Good. Next. Entrepreneur. Entrepreneur or businessman. Or businessman. Businessman. Good. So, would you like to become an entrepreneur? Why not? I'd like to have my own profitable business. Profitable uh, means business which brings profit. So, which brings, which brings profit, which brings profit, or we can also say successful business. Successful business, so which brings profit, which brings money. So, you see. So, would you like to become an entrepreneur? Why not? I'd like to have my own profitable business. So, why do we say profitable? You know, there are so many businesses. Yeah, but uh, many companies fail. Yeah, many companies uh, cl uh, fail. People close them down. You see? So, it's very important, you know, not just to have a business, but a profitable business, which can bring you money or profit or successful business. Good, very good. Well, so next, environment. So environment, so it's about nature, uh, nature and uh, ecology. It's about nature and ecology, environment. So do you think our planet is in danger? I can't say it for sure. It mean, yeah, very good phrase. I can't say it for sure. So I'm not, I'm not sure, but I know that we can't close our eyes on environmental problems. It means close our eyes means ignore, but we can't ignore in environmental problems. We can't ignore. We can't ignore environmental problems or problems connected with the environment. So if you don't know this word or this adjective it's okay too so you can say problems or connected with the environment problems connected with the environment so you see environment so nature and ecology so do you think our planet is in danger i can't say it for sure but i know that we can't close our eyes on environmental problems ignore close our eyes means ignore in, in environmental means connected with the environment. Good. So, exams. Do you like exams? <laughs> My answer may sound strange. Yeah, may, it's a model verb. So, we use may plus verb. Plus verb. This can sound strange, but it will be positive. I think exams help us revise our knowledge. Help us revise our knowledge. That means uh, uh, to remember uh, actually many things better. It means revise our knowledge. So revise, it's uh, a verb. It's a verb, you see. And revision. And revision is a noun. So revision. So it's about revision. So we need revision to remember it better. So exams. Do you like exams? My answer may sound strange, but it will be positive. I think exams help us revise our knowledge. Good. Family. Would you like to have a large family? So you can ask, do you want? So do you want? Yeah. Do you want or would you like? So what's the difference? What's the difference between do you want and would you like? Do you know the difference between these two phrases? So, would you like is more polite. So, would you like to have a large family? That would be great. That would, it means good, really good. However, I haven't met my second half yet. So, nice phrase. That would be great. That would be fantastic. However, or anyway, I haven't met. So, you see, it's present perfect because of yet. So, yet tells us that we need to use present perfect. So, if you have yet, 
yeah we use it um, at the at the end of the sentence we need to use a present perfect so i haven't met my second half yet so what is second half it means uh, so a person who i really love so boyfriend for me a girlfriend for me second half okay so family would you like to have a large family that would be great however i haven't met my second half yet so do you want or would you like so would you like is more polite and if you have yet you need to use present perfect good so what about famous people so would you like to become a famous singer i can't say that I sing so beautifully. Yeah, li is a suffix of many adverbs. It's a suffix, beautifully. I'd like to become a famous actor. I'd like to become a famous actor. So, you know, quick, it's an adjective. It's an adjective. And quickly, and quickly is an adverb. Is an adverb. So, you see that this suffix so this suffix, yeah, this suffix, uh, we often meet it in different adjectives, in different adjectives. So, famous people. Would you like to become a famous singer? I can't say that I sing so beautifully. I'd like to become a famous actor. So, li is a suffix. So, quick is an adjective and quickly is an adverb. Well, so, food. What kind of food do you usually eat? I hate junk food. So, what is junk food? So, it means unhealthy food which you eat uh, in different, maybe popular cafes. Junk food, it means unhealthy, unhealthy food, unhealthy food, like sandwiches, hamburg hamburgers, and so on, junk food. I'm sure that it's very important to have a good nutrition. Nutrition uh, means to eat properly, to eat healthy, to eat uh, health, healthy food, or to eat, or to eat properly. Properly, to eat properly. It isn't in the last place. Nutri nutrition. It isn't in the last place. So food. What kind of food do you usually eat? I hate junk food. I'm sure that it's very important to have a good nutrition. It isn't in the last place. So junk food, it's unhealthy food, ham hamburgers, sandwiches. So yeah, people usually <laughs> name this food this way. So eat healthy food or eat properly. Next, free time. Free time. How much free time do you have? Yeah, so time is uncountable. So time is uncountable. Time is uncountable and we ask how much so we ask how much yeah so how much free time for example with friends so if we have friends we can ask how many how many friends how many friends because friends because friends is countable so how much free time do you have no free time at all i work too much so too has a negative meaning too much and i know it okay so free time how much free time do you have no free time at all i work too much and i know it so time is uncountable how much yeah how much time how much free time and friends is countable so how many friends how many friends good yeah let's talk about uh, friends so, do you have reliable friends? So, reliable friends. So, reliable friends means good friends, so that you can rely, re rely on them. So, I have several very good friends, several or some very good friends. I trust them completely. I trust them completely. It means completely or absolutely. Completely or fully or fully or absolutely completely or fully or absolutely good so and I trust them it means that you think that they won't let you down so you think they won't let you 
they won't let you down. So let down is a phrasal verb. It means they won't won't do bad things. Yeah. So they won't let you they won't let you down. Okay, so friends, do you have reliable friends? I have several very good friends. I trust them completely. So completely or fully or absolutely. So you think they they won't let you down. Good. Next, gambling. Gambling. So it's about games. So it's about games. So what have you heard about gambling? I think it's an addiction. Yeah, I think it's an addiction. It means uh, that you depend on it. You depend on it or you are you are addicted to it. You are addicted to it. Yeah, addicted. Oh, sorry for my uh, terrible typing skills. Yeah, you're addicted to it. I have never been interested in it. So we say to be interested in something and we use present perfect I've been because of never. So it's true now. It's right now. I've never been interested in it. I think it's an addiction. I've never been interested in it. So gambling. What have you heard about gambling? I think it's an addiction. I've never been interested in it. So it means it depend you depend on it. You depend on it. You're addicted to it. Good. Well, gardening. Gardening. Do you have your own garden? I have a country house. I have a country house. Obviously, I spend lots of time in my garden. So you can say obviously or you can say uh, clearly or it's obvious. It's obvious. It's obvious. I spend lots of time in my garden. So you know that we say lots of time or you can also say a lot of time or there is one more very good phrase plenty of. So we use it with plenty of time and plenty of money. Please remember this uh, phrase so it's very good for your vocabulary. Plenty of time, plenty of money. So you can say I spent plenty of time in my garden. So do you have your own garden? I have a country house. Obviously I spend lots of time in my garden. Good. Clearly. It's always lots of time and a lot of time or plenty of time or plenty of money. Well, gifts. Gifts or presents. Gifts or presents. Do you like gifts? I like gifts. I like giving gifts more than taking them. So I like giving gifts more than take them. So if you really like something, you really say like doing, like doing something. So we have this structure, a like plus verb plus ing. So I like giving gifts more than taking them, like doing. Incredible, it means incredible. So fantastic, so it's hard to believe, very good, incredible. So it shows surprise, it shows surprise. It means that you are surprised, you are greatly surprised. You are greatly surprised. Good. I like making other people happy. I like making other people happy. So like doing, like making. And we talked about this phrase, make somebody do something. Make somebody, make somebody, make somebody do, uh, make somebody do something. Make somebody do something, you see. So I like making other people happy. I like making other people happy, yeah, so it's, uh, yeah, or, you know, uh, I like, you know, making other people feel happy, or I like uh, making other people happy, so this phrase is okay too, you can say, I like making other people happy, or I like making other people feel happy, it's okay too, so good, gifts or presents, do you like gifts? I like giving gifts more than taking them, incredible, so it shows surprise, I like making other people happy or I like making other people feel happy. So please remember that if you really like something, you say like doing something, like plus verb plus ing and there is one very good very good structure to make somebody do something. Good. Goals. Goals or aims. 
or aims. So what goals do you have? My main goal is to have a stable income. Stable income it, or stable uh, salary. It means that uh, to get money, uh, to get, it's when you get money, yeah, it's when you get money and you aren't worried. So you will have money or not. So you go to work and, uh, you know, you, your work is uh, quite, you know, stable. It means that um, you aren't worry, so you lose this job or not. So you can work there for a year, for two years, for three years, for a long time, for a very long period of time. Okay, so uh, secondly, I like to grow professionally. So you can say grow or develop. I grow or develop professionally. It means uh, when you need to develop your skills, when you need uh, to develop, when you need to develop when you need to develop your skills okay so goals aims what goals do you have my main goal is to have a stable income secondly I'd like to grow professionally so salary income or salary so grow professionally or develop professionally so we need to develop our skills good so happiness what is happiness or when are you happy when are you happy when are you happy when are you really happy or you can also ask what makes you what makes you feel happy what makes you feel what makes you feel happy or what makes you happy what makes you feel happy or what makes you feel really happy what makes you feel really happy I'm happy when other people are happy. I'm happy when there is love and when there is no hatred. Hatred. So it's the opposite feeling. It's it's the opposite feeling. It's the opposite uh, feeling. Yeah. So two opposite words. You see, love, love and hate. So love is a verb here and hate is a verb. But love can be a noun, and hatred is a noun. So happiness, what is happiness? I'm happy when other people are happy. So when there is, I'm happy when there is love and when there is no hatred. When are you really happy? Or what makes you really happy? What makes you feel really happy? So it's the opposite feeling. Yeah, hatred is the opposite feeling. So love and hate. So love is a verb and hate is a verb. Love is a noun and hatred is a noun. Next, health. How do you look after your health? Or what do you do? It means what do you do to be healthy? What do you do? What do you do? Do you do to be healthy? What do you do to be healthy? So we uh, say look after. Oh, sorry. Oh, we say look after or take care of you can also say take care of yeah we use look after here so how do you look after your health I go to the gym twice a week or it means two times as a rule it means usually so as a rule or usually regularly I go jogging once a week so you know it's about running so it's about running but we usually say go jogging please remember this phrase go jogging maybe do you like jogging so do you like jogging so and you can say that i like jogging i like jogging and i go jogging i go jog jogging so you can say i like running but it's usually very fast yeah but you know we say i like jogging i go jogging so health how do you look after your health? I go to the gym twice a week. As a rule, I go jogging once a week. What do you do to be healthy? So we say look after or take care of. Go jogging. I like jogging. I go jogging. Hobbies. Hobbies or occupations. So what are your main hobbies 
English and football. I used to play football professionally. So what does it mean? Used to do something. It means you did it earlier. You did it earlier. You did it earlier. But you're not doing it any longer. But you aren't. But you aren't doing it. You aren't doing it any longer. You aren't doing it now. So I used to play football professionally. It means I played it professionally in the past, but now but I'm not playing football now. Okay? So hobbies, occupations. What are your main hobbies? English and football. I used to play football professionally. So used to do something. It means you did it earlier. But you aren't doing it any longer. Next. Holidays. What holidays do you usually celebrate? First of all, New Year. It's the main holiday for me. The main means... Um, the main means the most important. The most important. It's the most important holiday for me. My friends and I. Yeah, you know this phrase. We say my friends and I, my parents and I celebrate this amazing holiday together. I also celebrate it with my relatives. I also celebrate it with my relatives. Good. So what holidays do you usually celebrate? First of all, New Year. It's the main holiday for me. My friends and I celebrate this amazing holiday together. I also celebrate it with my relatives. So the main means the most important. Homeless people. How can we help homeless people? So people who don't have a house or a flat. So yeah, I know it's a real problem. We need to help them change their way of life. Yeah, change their way of life. Good phrases. Real problem way of life so homeless people how can we help homeless people i know it's a real problem we need to help them change their way of life so it means that you can uh, give them money but maybe it's a bad idea to help them uh, find a job and start working so how work do you think your teachers give you too much homework. So too much has a negative meaning. So do you think your teachers give you too much homework? I think so from time to time. I think so from time to time. It means sometimes. They don't understand that I have other subjects too. Not only their subjects or not only theirs. Yeah, it's a common problem. It's a common Problem. So, do you think your teachers give you too much homework? I think so from time to time. They don't understand that I have other subjects too, not only theirs. It's a common problem. Honesty. Honesty. So, it's when you are honest. It's when you are honest. When you don't lie. When you don't lie. When you don't lie. When you tell the truth, so when you tell the truth, when you tell the truth. So, you know, there are two opposite, uh, there are two opposite uh, phrases, tell a lie, tell a lie, and uh, tell the truth, and uh, tell the truth, good. So, do you agree that it's very important to be an, an honest person. Good. An honest. Yeah, an honest. So, because why an? Because the sound, oh, honest, we look, we don't look at the first letter, we look at the first sound. Yeah, let's write it down. We don't look, we don't look at the first letter. At the first letter, we look at the first sound. If you want to choose the right article, we look Oh, we look at the first. We look at the first sound. Yeah. So, do you agree that it's very important to be an honest person, 
Absolutely. Absolutely means certainly, of course, it's for yourself. It's a matter of respect. It means it's a matter or it's a thing. It's a thing about it's about respect. It's a matter of respect or it's about respect to. I don't understand dishonest people or people who aren't honest, who don't tell the truth, who tell a lie, who aren't open, who aren't sincere. Yeah. They aren't open. Oh, they aren't open, not open or sincere. Sincere. Okay, so honesty. It's when you are honest, when you don't lie, when you tell the truth. Do you agree that it's very important to be an honest person? Absolutely. It's for yourself. It's a matter of respect to. I don't understand dishonest people, not open, sincere. When they tell a lie, when they don't tell the truth. So we don't look at the first letter, we look at the first sound, yeah? If we want to choose a or an. Well, so, immigration. Have you ever thought about immigration? Yeah, so we use present perfect have plus past participle or the third form because of ever. Ever, yeah, because of ever. So have you ever thought about immigration? I think it isn't for me. If I live in another country, I'll miss my parents very much. So miss means um, feel lonely. Feel lonely, feel lonely without them. Feel lonely, feel lonely without them. And uh, you see that we use present simple after it, although we talk about the future. So if plus present simple. So if I live in another country, I'll miss my parents very much. So it's a rule. Okay? So if I live. Immigration. Have you ever thought about immigration? I think it isn't for me. If I live in another country, I'll miss my parents very much. So miss means feel lonely. If plus present simple. We call it the first conditional. The first conditional. We call it the first conditional. Okay? So next. Improving our listening skills or making them better. How can we improve our listening skills? I think the answer is quite simple. Listen more and more. Listen more and more. I can recommend you the channel here, English Galaxy. It's our first channel. And this channel, English Professionally. English Professional, you know that uh, I have uh, two channels, yeah, and it's the main channel, it's our main channel now, yeah, it's our main channel, most important channel, English Professionally. So really, I can recommend you uh, the channel English Professionally, listen, listen and listen. So you see the text and listen and it helps you greatly, it helps you greatly. So these co video courses are very special, they are unique. And I hope, I really hope that you feel real progress. So, yeah. Uh, how can we improve our listening skills? I think the answer is quite simple. Listen more and more. I can recommend you the channel English Professional. Yeah, welcome to our channel. Good. So, improving reading skills. How can we improve our reading skills? Start reading simple books suitable for your level yeah which are good for your level yeah start reading simple books yeah suitable for your level then go to the next level and read more difficult books so really it's a good idea so there are uh, simple books for different levels beginner elementary pre-intermediate you can start with it i think it's a good idea so improving reading skills how can we improve our reading skills Start reading simple books suitable for your level, then go to the next level and read more difficult books. Good. Improving writing skills. How can we improve our writing skills? You just need more practice. You just need it. Just means only. So in this case, uh, just means only. You only need more practice or you just need more practice. Write something in English on a regular basis. On a regular basis means regularly. 
Uh, for example, you watch uh, these kind of videos on our channel and you can uh, stop it and take notes. So you can also write everything. Yeah, I think it's a good idea if you write it down. So how can we improve our writing skills? You just need more practice. Write something in English on a regular basis. So just can mean only and on a regular basis means regularly. Good. So improving our speaking skills. How can we improve our speaking skills? It's a real problem for lots of students, or it's really it's a serious problem, serious problem for lots of students. I think you are no exception to yeah phrase no exception. So so I think that you also have this problem. Find a speaking partner and speak English daily on different subjects. Yeah, you need to, to find a person yeah, and talk to him or her daily. It means every day on different subjects, politics, uh, sport, uh, economy and so on. So that there are so many things you can talk about. So improving speaking skills. How can we improve our speaking skills? It's a real problem for lots of students. I think you are no exception to. Find a speaking partner and speak English daily on different subjects. Internet. How often do you use the Internet? Yeah, this phrase is good. So use the Internet. Every day I can't do without it. It means that uh, I use it every day and uh, I use it every day and um, I can't do it another way, I can't do without it. You know, it's become a part of my life. So what is the structure? It's become. So what it has become? It's present perfect. It has become. So it has become. It has become. It's a short form. So it's become a part of my life. So how often do you use the internet? Every day. I can't do without it. You know, it's become a part of my life. Jobs. What kind of job would you like to have? Money isn't in the first place for me. I'd like to have such a job where I could develop my talents. Money will come later with professionalism and experience. Right. So you need to work more. So you need to uh, you need, you know, uh, to do something which you really like and try to do it well. Try to do your best and money will come. Yeah, but it's very important uh, to do something uh, which you really love doing, really. So what kind of job would you like to have? Money isn't in the first place for me. I'd like to have such a job where I could develop my talents. So could is a model verb here, you see. Money will come later. Could or can, where I can or where I could develop my talents. Money will come later with professionalism and experience. Knowledge. Do you agree that knowledge is power? Do you agree that knowledge is power? Yeah, a nice phrase. I partly agree with it. So partly means not fully. I partly agree with it. It's very easy to become a knowledgeable person, a knowledgeable person, so a person who knows a lot. We often need much more than just knowledge. Just has a meaning of only here. Just has a meaning of only, then only knowledge. I mean experience. So I mean it means um, that we explain it. We also need experience different skills and many other things okay so knowledge do you agree that knowledge is power i partly agree with it it's very easy to become a knowledgeable person we often need much more than just knowledge i mean experience different skills and many other things languages what what foreign languages do you know english and spanish I can speak English fluently. Yeah, good phrase. Speak English fluently. Yeah, I can. I think that um, 
your dream is to speak English fluently and correctly. Okay, so what foreign languages do you know? Really, what foreign languages do you know? English and Spanish. I can speak English fluently. Well, learning English. Is learning English difficult? I wouldn't say so. So it means that I can't say so or I wouldn't say so. It's a modal verb. You just need to choose the right method of learning English. You just need to choose the right method of learning English. So it means that, uh, for example, this video format, you know, it's a revolution in education and uh, it's really good. It can be suitable for you. So is learning English difficult? I wouldn't say so. You just need to choose the right method of learning English. Okay, next. Learning English online. What do you think about learning English online? It really works. My friends and I learn English on the channel English Galaxy. Yes, it was our first channel. And uh, English uh, professionally. So it's our second channel and it's our main channel. So on the channel English professionally. Good. Very good channel. It really helps. So what do you think about learning English online? It really works. My friends and I, yeah, we said my friends and I learn English on the channel English professionally. It really helps. Good. Leadership. Leadership. So when you are a leader, when you are, when you are a leader. So do you have leadership qualities? I think not, but I'd like to be a leader. I need to change myself. I need to work on myself. Yeah, so it isn't so easy. We need to develop it. So, do you have leadership qualities? I think not. But I'd like to be a leader. I need to change myself. I need to work on myself. Love. Do you have a girlfriend? Actually, I'm married. Really? Yeah. We've been together for five years. Good. So, you know that for uh, tells us that we need to use our present perfect continuous. So, if it's true, now too. So, if it's true, if it's true, if it's true, now too. So, we need to use our present perfect continuous. So, you know this example, I... Yeah, and how we, you know how we form it, have been uh, plus verb plus ing. So, if you say, I learn English, I learn English for five years, it isn't correct. It isn't correct. You need to use present perfect continuous because for uh, tells us that we need to do it. It's also true. I mean that uh, I'm also learning English now. So, and you need to use present perfect continuous. I have been. I have been uh, plus verb plus verb learn uh, plus ing. I have been learning English for five years. So here we need uh, to use present perfect continuous too. Yeah, but the problem is that the verb we don't uh, normally normally we don't use uh, this verb be so in continuous. It doesn't normally. It uh, doesn't have a continuous form, so it doesn't have a continuous form normally. Yeah, let's write it down. So normally, normally, it doesn't have, it doesn't have, normally or normally doesn't have a continuous form. No, no continuous, no continuous form. Yeah, no, no continuous uh, form, and so we need uh, to use. Our uh, present perfect, we need to use present perfect uh, instead of present perfect continuous. Yeah, so it's present perfect. So, love, do you have a girlfriend? Uh, actually, I'm married, really. Yeah, we've been together for five years. So it's present perfect. Have, short form, plus being. We've been together for five years. So, for tells us that we need to use present perfect continuous if it's true now too. Look, have been plus verb plus ing, I have been learning English 
for five years. So normally, normally, uh, yeah, we don't have, we don't, it doesn't have a continuous form, no continuous form. So we use present perfect instead of present perfect continuous. Good. So next, marriage. Are you married? No, I'm single. So two opposite words, married and single, two opposite words. When are you going to get married? So it's about your plans. If you are talking about your plans, you use this structure. When are you going to get married? I think it's a good question. I don't know it. I'm very young. Maybe next year. So marriage. Are you married? No, I'm single. When are you going to get married? I think it's a good question. I don't know it. I'm very young. Maybe next year. Next. Mistakes. Mistakes. Do you often make mistakes in English? I think so. I need to improve my grammar. So you know that we say need to do something, need uh, to do something, I need to improve my grammar, I need to learn English, yeah, harder. And um, we also say improve. So improve means make better. So do you often uh, make mistakes in English? I think so. I need to improve my grammar. So we say need to do something. Good. Yeah, let's talk about money. How much money would you like to earn? How much money would you like to earn? So earn means get. Earn means get. So you can say, or you can ask it this way. So how much money would you like to get? Or how much money would you like to earn? $2,000 a month and you, really, how much money would you like to earn? Good. Next. Motivation. So, motivation. So, it's about what motivates us. What motivates us. I see you are learning English very hard. What's your motivation? What's your motivation? What motivates you? Yeah, you can ask also ask it this way. What motivates you? And you see that motivation, if we look at this word motivation, it's a noun and motivate is a verb. So what motivates you or what's your motivation? I want to find a well-paid job. So where I can get enough money in an international company and in international company. Okay, so motivation. I see you are learning English very hard. So what's your motivation? I want to find a well-paid job in an international company. So you can also ask what motivates you. And you know that motivation is a noun and motivate is a verb. Next, movies. Movies, or we also call it films. Okay, so do you like, do you like watching movies? Sure. Yeah, we ask, you know, like doing something, usually ask it like doing something. So like and uh, ing after the verb. Do you like watching movies? Sure. Yeah, sure. Of course, suddenly it helps me relax. Yeah, you can say it helps me to relax. But uh, normally we meet and use it helps me relax without to. I have a rest in such a way. I have a rest in such a way. So good phrases relax relax or have a rest similar phrases similar phrases have a rest so movies do you like watching movies sure it helps me relax i have a rest in such a way so we say relax or have a rest well so let's talk about music do you like classical music I can't say that I'm really fond of it. Fond of means to like something very much. Please remember it. Fond of means like something, like something very much, or really like something. Really, uh, really like something. So if you say I'm fond of sport, I'm fond of sport, uh, it means that I really like it. I really like it. I really like sport, or you can say I enjoy sport. I enjoy sport means, yeah. So do you like classical music? 
I can't say that I'm really fond of it, but I don't mind listening uh, to it from time to time. So don't mind means it's okay for me. It's okay for me. It means it's okay for me. It's okay for me. So I have nothing against it. I have nothing. I have nothing against it. I have nothing against it. So it's okay. It's all right. And please uh, remember that if you use this structure, you use don't mind doing something. So don't mind listening. Yeah, don't mind listening. Don't mind listening. So I don't mind listening to it from time to time. It's okay for me. So I don't mind. I don't mind teaching. You know, here on YouTube, it's okay for me. I don't mind teaching English on YouTube. It's okay. So music. Do you like classical music? I can't say that I'm really fond of it, but I don't mind listening to it from time to time. Fond of means really like something. So look at these examples. I'm fond of sport. I really like sport. I enjoy sport. It's okay for me. I have nothing against it. Good. So, well, my favorite subject, English. So, what's your favorite subject? English. It's never boring to learn it. It's never boring to learn it. So, interesting. So, opposite words. You know, these opposite words. Interesting. Interesting. Or boring. Or boring. Yeah, interesting or boring. Boring is the opposite word. So my favorite subject English. So what's your favorite subject English? It's never boring to learn it. Yeah, really, that's true. Okay. So next, my favorite subject Spanish. What's your favorite subject Spanish? I'm really interested in the Spanish culture. So please remember this. So phrase I'm interested in. I'm interested in something. So don't forget about ed and the form of the verb to be. So I'm interested. I'm really interested in the Spanish culture. I have friends who live in Spain and Latin America. So my favorite subject is Spanish. What's your favorite subject? Spanish. I'm really interested in the Spanish culture. I have friends who live in Spanish and in Spain and Latin America. Good. So, next. So, it's about maths. My favorite subject, maths. What's your favorite subject? So, maths or mathematics. Mathematics or mathematics. Yeah? I'm very good at figures. So, you know this uh, phrase, uh, to be good at, or to be good at, or to be bad at. Well, we talked about it, but it's another phrase. So if you say, for example, I'm good at figures, it means that uh, you, can you can calculate uh, different uh, things very easily and uh, quickly. So you can, cal you can calculate, you can calculate, you can calculate, calculate uh, different things, uh, different, uh, you know, uh, things uh, very quickly. You can calculate different things uh, very quickly, uh, very quickly and easily, very quickly and uh, easily and easily. Okay, so very nice uh, phrases. Well, so my favorite subject maths. What's your favorite subject? Maths. I'm very good at figures. So maths or mathematics. So to be good at or to be bad at. I'm good at figures. So you can calculate different things very quickly and easily. Neighbors. Do you get on well with your neighbors? Yeah, we also talked about it. So get on means do you have good relations? Do you have good relations? Yeah. Do you have good relations? Do you have good relations or with your neighbors? Of course, we are on friendly terms. So it's another nice phrase. So you can say I get on well. You can I get on well with them, for example, with my neighbors. Oh, we are on friendly terms. We are on friendly terms. So it's okay. So we have no problems. So we have no problems with 
uh, communication. It's okay. Well, so, do you get on well with your neighbors? Of course, we are on friendly terms. So, do you have good relations? Or you can say, I get on well with them, for example. Or, we are on friendly terms. So, get on is a phrasal word. Please have a look at our playlist. Well, next, news. How do you get the latest news? So, get or receive. How do you receive the latest news? How do you get the latest news? Yeah? So, the latest. The latest. So, it's superlative form. Superlative. Superlative form. So, you know, late, later, and the latest. So, we call it adjective. So, late is an adjective here. Yeah, but it can be an adverb. So, adjective. Uh, next, comparative form. Comparative form. Comparative form. Later. And superlative form. So, yeah, late, later, the latest. So, you know, we add er and we add est. Late, later, uh, the latest. Yeah, but you know that late uh, can be an, you see, an adverb. An adverb. And it can be an adjective an adjective so you also need uh, to know it uh, for example we came late or uh, we came late and late is um, an adverb here we came late and uh, for example uh, we were surprised uh, uh, by their late arrival we were surprised we were surprised look we were surprised by their late Arrival. We're surprised by their late arrival. Yeah, we say surprised by and a late arrival. So it's an adjective. It's before a noun. It's before a noun. Okay. So news. How do you get the latest news? I usually read them online. So adjective, comparative form and superlative form. So late, later, the latest. So late can be an adverb and an adjective too. So we came late. So late is an adverb here, and we were surprised by their late arrival. So it's an adjective here. Next, New Year. So do you celebrate New Year with your family? Right. So you can say right. Oh yes, we celebrate New Year in a family circle. In a family circle, or oh, it means uh, so with my family. With my family in a family circle. In a family circle. So, New Year. Do you celebrate New Year with your family? Right. We celebrate New Year in the family circle or with my family. Good. Occupations. Occupations or we also uh, call it hobbies. So, you know, so we say I'm, occup I'm occupied. I'm occupied with something. I'm occupied with uh, something, or I'm occupied with uh, this work, or it means um, uh, to be busy with it, to be busy, it means to be busy uh, with it, so you see, and uh, so who have occupations, so it's a noun. So tell me about your occupations. It's blogging, yeah, it's blogging, it's video blogging maybe, so believe it or not, so, believe it or not, it's a good phrase. So, believe it or not, it takes lots of free time. Please, yeah, please believe. That's true. Yeah, believe it or not. So, you can believe it. Or maybe you believe it. Uh, maybe you don't uh, believe it. But really, it takes lots of time, really, uh, to. Um, if you're talking about video blogging. So, it's lots of time. Yeah, not just one or two hours uh, a day. So, if you're a serious video blogger. <laughs> Okay, so, but um, it's possible with your support. So, occupations or hobbies, I'm occupied with this work. So, occupied, to be occupied with means to be busy with. Tell me about your occupations. It's blogging. So, believe it or not, it takes lots of free time. Well, so, online shopping. What about online shopping? So we can ask what about something or how about what about online shopping or how about online shopping I've got used to it so it means uh, it became normal it became normal for me 
Uh, you can also say used to it, used or accustomed, accustomed to it, used to it or accustomed to it. It means uh, it became normal for me. It became normal. It became normal. It became normal for me. Okay. I often buy something online. It saves my money and time. It saves my money and time time so online shopping what about online shopping i've got used to it i've got used to it i often buy something online it saves my money and time so we say what about yeah what about or how about used to something or accustomed to it so it became normal for me next optimism are you an optimist. I'm mostly in a good mood, but I don't see our life in rosy colors. So, so this phrase means to be in a good mood. It means uh, I am in a good mood. I am in a good mood. It means uh, that you feel good. I feel good. So. I'm mostly in a good mood, but I don't see our life in rosy colors. So, I think that uh, you know this phrase. So, it means that you don't have illusions. You don't have illusions. Illusions. So, you see, uh, you know the reality. You know, uh, you know and uh, see, you know and see uh, the reality. Okay? So, Optimism. So this is uh, British uh, spelling, and this is American spelling. Good. So optimism. Are you an optimist? I'm mostly in a good mood, but I don't see our life in rosy colors. I'm in a good mood means I feel good. So it means that you don't have illusions. Yeah. If you don't see <laughs> your life in rosy colors, so you you know and see the reality. Good. So pessimism is the opposite thing. So are you a pessimist? Certainly not. I try to be a positive person. Certainly, oh, of course, yeah, of course not. I am pessimist. Certainly not. I try to be a positive person. Yeah, I think it's very important to be positive. Well, so personality, personality. Do you have a strong personality? Or we often, you know, ask it, so, uh, do you have a strong character? Do you have a strong character? It means, uh, do you have a strong character? A strong character. Do you have a strong character? I think so. Life is difficult and it makes us strong. I think that you agree that life is difficult and it makes us strong. So, do you have a strong personality? Or do you have a strong character? I think so. Life is difficult and it makes us strong. Good. Plans. What are your plans for the future? Good phrase. Yeah. What are your plans for the future? I'd like. Yeah. You can say I want to or I'd like to. I'd like to change my job. I need a job with a higher salary. So salary is how much money you get. So a high salary means that you want to get more money. Well, so plans. What are plans for the future? I'd like to change my job. I need a new job with a higher salary. Politics. Do you like talking about politics? Yeah, like doing something. Do you like talking about politics? My friends and I. So you see this phrase, my friends and I, my colleagues and I. So sometimes discuss political issues. Political issues it means uh, subjects related to politics. Issues or subjects or questions. So subjects related related to politics. It's uh, political issues. Okay. So do you like talking about politics? My friends and I sometimes discuss political issues. So subjects related to politics. Good. Well, uh, poverty. You see, have you ever been poor? So poor, uh, yeah. So not two opposite words. Yeah, rich and poor. Poor. So ever. 
tells us that we need to use present perfect. Yeah, I was very poor when I was a student, so I know what poverty is. I know what poverty is. So poverty is um, when you are poor. Poverty, so it's uh, when you are poor. So it's uh, when you are poor. Good. It's when you are poor. And please uh, pay attention to this fact. So you know that um, we can ask, what is poverty? What is poverty? Yeah. So first uh, we say what and then is. What is poverty? But here, what we have here, uh, yeah, but we have another structure here. What poverty is? Why? Because it's an indirect, it's an indirect uh, question. So I know what poverty is. So there is a rule. So if you have something before a question word, like I know, you need to use the correct word order. So it's you need to use the correct word order, word order, and uh, indirect questions. Yeah, because there is something before what. So I know what poverty is. I know what poverty is. Okay. So and uh, please um, have a look at our playlist on grammar too. So have you ever been poor? Yeah, I was very poor when I was a student. I know what poverty is. So rich, rich and poor. So, oh, really, poverty, it's uh, when you're poor. So, what is poverty? Indirect question. So, we need to use the correct word order in indirect questions. Well, so, religion. Do you believe in God? Do you believe in God? I'm sure that God exists. It means I'm sure that uh, there is God. There is God. I'm sure that there is God. I go to church quite regularly. Quite regularly or quite often. You can use another phrase, yeah. Quite regularly or quite often. So religion, do you believe in God? I'm sure that God exists. I go to church quite regularly. So exists means there is God and uh, quite regularly means quite often. Restaurants. Do you often go to the restaurants? Not often, but sometimes it takes place. It takes place means but sometimes I go there. So, do you often go to the restaurants? Not often, but sometimes it takes place. Good. So, retirement. So, what is retirement? It's uh, when you go when you go on pension, when you go on pension, so really, when you go on pension, when you stop working, when you stop, when you stop working. So have you ever thought about your retirement? I think it's too early to think about it. I'll put it off. So put off is a phrasal verb. It means postpone. It means um, I'll do it later, I'll do it later. So put off, I'll think about it later. Okay, so retirement. Go on pension, stop working. Have you ever thought about your retirement? I think it's too early to think about it. I'll put it off or I'll postpone it. Well, so school. Do you go to school? Actually, not. It means, um, yeah, actually means in fact. Actually means in fact, in fact. So, and remember these phrases, go to school, go to work. So, we don't, without a preposition. Oh, I mean, without, um, yeah, sorry, uh, without uh, an article, without an article, yeah. We use uh, this preposition to, but without an article. So how can it be? I finished school last year. I go to university. Yeah, yeah. Go to school. Go to work. Go to uh, university. So we say it this way: Go to university and study medicine. 
okay so do you go to school actually not actually not how can it be i finished school last year i go to university and i study medicine so actually means in fact so we say go to school go to work go to university so we say it without an article good science would you like to be a scientist you know i've always been interested in science yeah you see it's present perfect it's present perfect a short form of have and plus past participle plus the third form i've always been interested in science yeah so you know that um, for example i've always been interested in science i've always been interested in sport a very good phrase and we say interested in something so but i'd like to connect my life with medicine okay so science would you like to be a scientist or would you like to become a scientist you know i've always been interested in science but i'd like to connect my life with medicine good self-employment self-employment it's uh, when you work for yourself it's uh, you know oh, when you work when you work for yourself when you work for yourself are you self-employed yeah i work for myself i have a flexible schedule yeah so we can pronounce it this way schedule or timetable 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 yeah good so sometimes you can hear schedule uh, sometimes you can hear schedule so it depends it depends well so uh, self-employment so when you work for yourself so you see are you self-employed yeah i work for myself i have a flexible schedule or timetable shopping do you like going shopping yeah like doing something do you like going shopping and this phrase yeah please remember go shopping we say go shopping but do the shopping but do the shopping i'm very busy and i prefer to do it online so even buying clothes and food online yeah so it's a very popular trend it's a very popular trend you see it's a very popular it's a very popular trend so do you like going shopping i'm very busy and i prefer to do it online even buying clothes and food online so it's a very popular trend so we say go shopping and do the shopping please remember these phrases next smoking so what can we say about smoking really do you smoke i gave up smoking two years ago so give up is a phrasal verb it means stop I stopped smoking two years ago and we say give up doing something give up doing something give up doing something so we use ing after the verb so I give up smoking two years ago I think it was the right decision so it was the right decision so it was right okay so smoking do you smoke do you smoke I give up smoking two years ago. I think it was the right decision. So give up means stop. Social problems. Social problems. Okay. So the problems of our society. It's the problems of our. The problems of our society. The problems of our society. What social problems can you name? Poverty unemployment homeless people and things like that so poverty so it's when people when people are poor so are very poor are poor or very poor yeah unemployment when people when people are out of work are out of work so when they don't have they don't have a job they don't have a job and homeless you know uh, they um, yeah they don't have a flat they don't have you don't have um, a flat uh, or a house so they don't know they don't know where to live they don't know where to live so you see 
really uh, social problems the problems of our society what social problems can you name poverty unemployment homeless people and things like that so when people are very poor so it's poverty people are out of work so it's unemployment they don't have the, yeah they don't have a job and they don't have a flat or a house so it's hum it's about homeless people social networks social networks so how often do you use social networks so i mostly use VK. So VK uh, is a, a very popular uh, social network in Russia. So is a very popular is a very popular social network. It's a very popular social network. Social network in Russia. It's VK. VK is a very popular social network in Russia. So I do it almost every day. And you? So how often do you use Facebook? Okay, so how often do you use social, social networks? I mostly use VK and Facebook. I do it almost every day. So, you know, VK is a very popular social network in Russia. Well, one of my favorite subjects, uh, it's sport. Are you keen on sport? Are you keen on sport? So what does it mean, keen on? Keen on means like, so and you like it and you do it. So you can say, I'm keen on sport. I'm keen on sport. So how can you say it another way? I'm interested. I'm interested in sport. I'm fond of, fond of sport. I'm fond of sport. Yeah, it means that you really love it. So I love sport. I love sport. Yeah. And uh, you know that you can say I like, I like sport. I like sport. I really like it. I really like it. Or you can also say I'm into sport. I'm into sport. It means that you really like it. You really like it and you do it often. I'm into sport. So you see there are different variants or there are different alternatives. So are you keen on sport? Right. I'm really fond of it. I particularly like playing tennis. It means that particularly or I really like playing tennis. I'm keen on sport. Yeah, I'm keen on sport. So you can say it uh, this, uh, this way. A very nice phrase. Keen on. Yeah, we use on. Interested in. I'm interested in sport. I'm fond of sport. Oh, I love sport. I like sport. I really like it. I'm into sport. Well, so stress. Stress. Are you tired after work? Yeah, I'm often under stress, means uh, I feel stressful, I feel stressful, I feel stressful, or I experience, it means you ex I experience this feeling, I experience this feeling, say I have this feeling or uh, I experience this feeling, so stress. Are you tired after work? Yeah, I'm often under stress. It's, you know, I feel stressful. I have this feeling. I experience this feeling. Success. Okay. So, do you want to become a successful top manager? It sounds great. But being a successful businessman, it means, but if you are a successful businessman, looks more attractive for me looks more attractive so i like it more i like it more yeah so you can be a successful top manager yeah it's a question and uh, i answer that i prefer to be a successful businessman okay so success do you want to become a successful top manager it sounds great but being a successful businessman looks more attractive for me teachers do you think all your teachers were very professional? So, do you think all your teachers were very professional, were very good? So, mostly yes. Mostly or mainly yes. But there were some unpleasant exceptions. But there were some exceptions. It means there were teachers uh, who weren't professional. Unpleasant means that I don't like it. So, it isn't pleasant. I don't like it. Okay? Unpleasant exceptions. So, teachers, do you think 
all your teachers were very professional? Mostly yes. But there were some unpleasant exceptions. Teenagers. Do you remember when you were a teenager? Or do you remember the time when you were a teenager? So, yeah, do you remember the time when you were a teenager? Yeah, it was a very difficult time. I understood life differently. So, differently is an adverb. So, yeah, you see the suffix li, differently. So, do you remember the time when you were a teenager? Yeah, it was a very difficult time. I understood life differently. Good. So, television or TV. Do you watch TV? I prefer to watch different videos on YouTube. It's so exciting. So, it means uh, it's so exciting. It's so good. It's so interesting. So exciting. Yeah. So, do you watch TV? I prefer to watch different videos on YouTube. It's so exciting. Do you agree with it? Well, so, time. So, do you agree that time is money? Yeah, you know that often people often say time is money. Partly. Partly means not absolutely, not absolutely, not fully. If you lose time, how will you get it back? So, get back means return. How will you return it? If you lose money, you can earn it again. So, earn means get. You can get it again. Yeah. So, you see. So, do you agree that time is money? Partly. If you lose time, how will you get it back? If you lose money, you can earn it again. Time management. Time management. Do you have enough free time? So, we say free time or we also say spare time is the same are you joking good phrase so we can also ask are you kidding are you kidding are you joking i wish my time management were much better so i want uh, to have a better time management so i wish my time management were much better so you know the structure that we use i wish uh, then a subject, then a subject, we use a subject, uh, plus a uh, past simple. So, and um, if uh, we have um, uh, to be, if you need to use the form of to be, you use were, not, not was. So, I wish I were, I wish he were, I wish they were. So, we use were, so it's a rule. Okay, so I wish, and uh, we call it um, the second conditional. We call it the second conditional. Uh, we discussed it in one of the videos on grammar. Please uh, have a look at our playlists. So, time management. Do you have enough? Yeah, do you have enough free time? Are you joking? I wish my time management were much better. So, free time or spare time. Good, very good phrases. Are you kidding? And it's the second conditional. So, I wish. Uh, plus subject plus past simple and we change to be to were get so traveling Do you like traveling so like doing something do you like traveling show me a person who doesn't like it Yeah, show me a person uh, Show me a person who doesn't like it. Yeah, so traveling do you like traveling show me a person who doesn't like it It means that obviously yes obviously Obviously or suddenly suddenly yes. Obviously obviously yes. Obviously obviously yes. It's obvious. It's obvious obviously yes. Well, unemployment. Unemployment, you see. Are you unemployed? It means or are you out of work? Are you out of work? Fortunately, fortunately or luckily Fortunately or luckily, I have a good job. I know that unemployment is a real problem for lots of people. Yeah, that's right. So, are you unemployed? Fortunately, I have a good job. I know that unemployment is a real problem for lots of people. So, you can say, are you unemployed or are you out to work? And fortunately means luckily. Next, university. Do you study at university? Yeah, I entered it two years ago. So, we say 
enter a university, enter a university, or get, or get into, or get into, yeah, or enter university or get into a university. So we can also say I got into it. I got into it two years ago. So enter university or get into university. Okay, so university. Do you study at university? Yeah, I entered it two years ago. It means I start, you know, I started uh, studying there uh, two years ago. Yeah, very good. Well, war. War. Do you think that war is the most terrible thing? You know, when millions of innocent people die. So, innocent people, it means that uh, people who aren't guilty, people who aren't uh, guilty, people who aren't guilty, uh, you can't be indifferent. You can't be indifferent. It means that um, you can't uh, just look at it uh, with no reaction, with no reaction. It's something beyond understanding. It's something which is really difficult to understand, beyond understanding. So, it's something which is really difficult to understand. Okay? So, uh, yeah, innocent people who aren't guilty, indifferent. So, you can't look at it with uh, no reaction. Uh, you see, and beyond understanding, so it's something difficult to understand. Okay, so war. Do you think that um, war is the most terrible thing? You know, when millions of innocent people die, you can't be indifferent. It's something beyond understanding. Yeah, innocent people who aren't guilty. Next, weather. What's the weather like today? Yes, you ask this question and don't forget to put like. What's the weather like today? What's the weather? It's just... Uh, just this phrase, you need to remember it. What's the weather like today? It's sunny and warm. What kind of weather do you like? What kind of weather do you like? So, like can be a verb here. Like can be a verb, like here. Do you like? And um, uh, here it's another part of speech. Another part of speech. It's another part of speech. So, what's the weather like today? It's sunny and warm. What kind of weather do you like? Well, working abroad. Have you ever wanted to work abroad? So, it's present perfect have plus past participle. Or we have it because of ever. Wanted to work abroad. Abroad means to work in another country. You know, I'd like to live and work in the United States. It's my greatest dream. It's my biggest or greatest dream. So, I'm learning English here, so it's present continuous because it's now. Okay, so working abroad. Have you ever wanted to work abroad? You know, I'd like to live and work in the United States. It's my greatest dream, so I'm learning English here. Yeah, and two more conversations. So, working for yourself. So, do you work for yourself? Yeah, you're absolutely right. So you can say you are right or you are absolutely right. Yeah. My income depends on me. Income it's how much money you get. Depends on, depends on me. There are advantages and disadvantages of working for yourself. So pluses and minuses. Minuses good and bad things. Okay? Advantages and disadvantages of working for yourself. So, working for yourself, you see, do you work for yourself? Yeah, you're absolutely right. My income depends on me. There are advantages and disadvantages of working for yourself. There are pluses and minuses. Yeah, and uh, the last one. Yeah, good. So, stay with us. Do you practice yoga? Yoga? I'm interested in it. Yeah, we say interested in something. Yeah, don't forget about in. I'm interested in it. I'm sure it's very important to look after our health. Yeah, we talked about it. Look after means take care of our health. I think I can do other kinds of exercises. Yeah, we say do exercises. And yoga isn't the only way of the situation. The, the only way out. Uh, yeah, the only way out of the situation if you want to keep fit. So, it means that um, uh, there are other exercises 
which can help you uh, feel fit, uh, which can help you keep uh, fit. Yeah, good. So it's interesting to hear from you. And really, how do you keep fit? Share your secrets with us to tell us your secrets, okay? So yoga, do you practice yoga? I'm interested in it. I'm sure it's very important to look after our health. I think I can do other kinds of exercises and yoga isn't the only way out of uh, the situation if you want to keep fit or if you want to keep healthy. How do you keep fit? Share your secrets with us. Okay, thanks a lot for your support. I really need it. So, and our community is growing and you know that I try to do my best to uh, prepare very good lessons and video courses for you because I'm interested in your progress and I expect two things from you. So the first one is that you really like English, you enjoy learning English, yeah, here. And the second thing is that you make progress, yeah, very good things. Okay, see you. Hi, welcome to our channel English Professionally and this course is 115 conversations in English. Yeah, so I really hope this course is very special and useful. So it's for speaking, really. So if you want to speak English really well and make your vocabulary larger, this course is for you. There are 115 conversations in English, dialects on different topics. So watch all the video. It's also very good for your listening skills. You can see the text and listen to it at the same time. I really hope you enjoy this lesson. Yeah, so this course is very special and I prepared it for you. So enjoy it. Okay, so the first conversation is about advertising. Advertising. So what do you think about advertising? So this phrase is very good for speaking. What do you think about, for example, what do you think about advertising? What do you think about learning English online? What do you think about this channel? You know, it's really irritating. So it's really irritating. So it means I don't like it. So you can say irritating, irritating, or there is another word. So it's annoying, irritating. So it's really irritating or it's really annoying. It means it irritates. It means it irritates, it irritates me. Or you can also say it annoys me, it annoys me. So you don't like it. So it's really irritating. So a nice word. Next, I perfectly understand you. I perfectly understand you. So if you understand another person really well, you can say I understand you well. I understand you very well. Or you can say, I perfectly understand you. So it's a very good phrase if you want to speak English naturally. I perfectly understand you. Good. So, by the way, by the way, so it's a very powerful marketing tool. So by the way, so it means, um, yeah, so by the way, or I'd also like to say, so if you don't know this uh, phrase, uh, you can say uh, something like that. So I'd also like to say, I'd like, or I'd also like to say, it's a very powerful marketing tool. So powerful, so do you know a synonym? So powerful or strong, powerful or strong. So it's a very powerful marketing tool. So. We say tool or there is another word which means the say instrument. So marketing tool, marketing instrument, marketing tool, tool, marketing instrument. So you see that our conversations are for speaking. They are full of very useful English phrases, words and expressions and clearly explanations, explanations in English powerful marketing tool. So let's revise it. So advertising. What do you think about advertising? You know, it's really irritating. I perfectly understand you. By the way, 
it's a very powerful marketing tool. So you see, irritating or annoy, you can also say it irritates me or it annoys me. I'd also like to say, or oh, by the way, powerful or strong tool or instrument. Okay, so it's number one, conversation number one. Next, appearance. So what is appearance? It's how we look like. It's how we look like. It's how we look like. So, is it important for you how you look like? Sure. Sure. So, sure, a nice word. So, you can say sure. You can also say of course. You can say certainly. Certainly. Certainly, sure. Of course. Certainly. Or definitely. Definitely. It all means it um, all means more or less the same. So it means it means more or less more or less the same. Good. So it means more or less the same. So sure, people often judge by appearance. So it's a nice phrase. Judge by appearance. It means they form an opinion. They form an opinion about you looking at your appearance so they form an opinion they form an opinion good they form an opinion or they have beautiful and beautiful it's an adjective it's an adjective it means full of beauty full of beauty okay do you think that beauty will save our world what a nice phrase what a beautiful phrase do you think that beauty will save our world so I know this saying. I know this saying. It means um, I know this saying, or I know this um, phrase. I know this saying, or I know this uh, phrase. I know this phrase. However, it's a very nice word for speaking. However, however, so you can say however, or but, or but, but you know that we don't put but at the beginning of the sentence so really however has a meaning of but but we don't put it at the beginning of the sentence or however or anyway you can also say anyway anyway but it means but so i do think that it's important to have a beautiful soul so do think it's an inversion it's inversion do you know this thing inversion so you can say i really think i really think or i do think so do think means i really think it's an inversion we put do before a verb so i can say that um, i really i really like it i really like it or you can say i do like it so it's english grammar I do like it so you see good I do think that it's important to have a beautiful soul too so beautiful soul it means to be a good person to be a good person yet yeah, do good things not bad things not okay not just a good body not just a good body good so beauty it's a noun and beautiful is an adjective do you think that beauty will save our world I know this saying, I know this phrase. However, I do think that it's important to have a beautiful soul too, not just a good body. So you can say however, anyway, so it means but. And uh, I think that you knew something interesting and you may be about such a thing as inversion. So you can say, I really think, or I do think, I really like it, or I do like it. Okay, so books what kind of books do you usually read so you can say what kind of or what sort of what kind of books do you usually read i mostly read english books so you can say mostly or mainly i mostly read english books yeah very good phrases what kind of or what sort of and mostly and mainly so i mostly read english books I mean simplified ones. So you can say simplified, simplified, or you can say, or you can say adapted, adapted. 
So it means not full, not full, not in the original, not full, not in the original, not in the original. So you see, I mean simplified ones. I hope I'll start reading English books in the original next year. So look, start reading. Why do we use ing? Start reading. Please remember, we say start doing something. Start doing something. So start plus work plus work plus ing. So we we often say so. Start doing something. So for example, I'll start. So I'll start learning English more intensively. I'll start learning English more intensively. Let me give you this example. I'll start learning English. I'll start learning English more intensively. It means harder. More intensively or harder. Start doing something. I'll start learning English more intensively. Oh, sorry for my bad typing skills. Okay, so start plus work plus ing. So books. What kind of books do you usually read or what sort of books do you usually read? I mostly read English books or I mainly read English books. Okay, so I mean simplified ones. I hope I'll start reading English books in the original next year. So you say uh, start, yeah, you say simplified or adapted, not full, not in the original. And please remember start doing something, start plus verb plus ing. I'll start learning English more intensively. Good. Let's. It doesn't break down so often. It doesn't break down so often. It's very reliable and comfortable. So reliable, yeah, you can rely on it. If you can't rely on it, you say unreliable. Yeah, reliable and comfortable. Where was your car produced? In Japan. Where was your car produced in Japan? So look at the structure. Was your car produced? It's passive voice. It's passive voice, past simple. It's passive voice, past simple. So we form it was were plus past participle plus past participle or was were plus the third form plus the third form. Look, produce, produced, produced. So if it, you know, if it, uh, if it happens by someone, so look, was your car produced? It means someone produced these, this car. So, you know, cars can't produce themselves. Cars can't produce themselves. So someone produces cars, someone produced cars. So, and you need to use passive voice. Look, was were plus plus participle. So where, where was your car produced? So cars. Do you have a car? Yes, I have. It's very reliable and comfortable. Where was your car produced? In Japan. So look, rely on it. So it's reliable. I can rely on it. So it doesn't break down so often. So breakdown is a phrase of verb. So passive voice, past simple. Was were plus past participle or the third form. So next. Nine. Charity. Charity. So, what do you think about charity? So, I think that you will understand the meaning of this word if you don't know it. So, in this context, in this conversation. So, I think it's a good idea to help poor people. Poor people. Yeah. So, charity is um, when you give money uh, to some organizations which uh, help poor people. So, what about people with disabilities? What about people with disabilities? So, uh, maybe it means people uh, who have different problems with health, maybe with their leg, arm, uh, maybe, maybe mental problems, uh, problem with their mind. So, disabil uh, disabilities. People with disabilities. I also think they need our protection. I also think they need our protection, so we need to protect them. So you know, because um, so what is charity? Charity for pe for it's usually charity for poor people and for people with disabilities. Okay, charity. 
What do you think about charity? I think it's a good idea to help poor people. What about people with disabilities? I also think they need our protection. Next, cheating. Huh, cheating. Do you know this word, cheating? So, what you added it towards cheating. So, you can ask what you added it towards or what do you think about cheating? What do you think about cheating? So, I believe that if you want to know something really well, you need to do without it. So you don't you don't need to cheat. You don't need to cheat. So you know, lots of students, lots of students do it during the exam. So just imagine it. Just imagine it. You have an exam and you don't know. You don't know anything, and you have some papers maybe in your pockets, and then you uh, look at uh, it from time to time, and you copy and you copy it down. So you copy this information. So it's it isn't your knowledge. So it isn't your knowledge. It isn't good. It isn't good. So you know, and it's illegal. It's illegal. So in the exam. So you need to do without it. So train your memory and other skills. Train your memory and other skills. Really? So I think that if you train your memory and other skills, you can do without cheating. So really, it's um, better to show your results. But you know that cheating is very popular in some countries. In some countries, cheating is very popular. But personally, I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay, so what's your attitude towards cheating? I believe that if you want to do something really well, you need to do without it. Train your memory and other skills. Good. Childhood. Childhood. Do you remember your childhood? Or do you remember the time when you were a child? Yeah, it was such a wonderful time. It was such a wonderful time. We were very young and naive. Naive. We were very young and naive. Yeah, you see, we say such plus a or an plus adjective, an opinion, uh, an opinion about you. So when they look, when they look at your appearance, yeah. So for example, <laughs> you know, if someone so has bad clothes. So, uh, they can think that he has a bad job or something like that. So, you see, appearance, how we look like. So, is it important for you how you look like? Sure, people often judge by appearance, so they form an opinion about you. So, you can say, sure, of course, certainly, definitely, it means more or less the same. Okay, so, next, arguing. So it's when you disagree, it's when you disagree with someone, when you disagree with someone, it's when you disagree with someone. Okay, so you see, do you get on well, disagree, do you get on well with you, all your friends and acquaintances? So get on is a phrasal verb, is a phrasal verb. So please have a look at our playlist on phrasal verbs. Yeah, so I think that uh, you'll know lots of interesting information. It means, uh, so do you have good relations? Do you have, do, you can say, do you get on well? Or have good relations. Have good relations. Have good relations or get on well with all your friends and acquaintances. So friends and acquaintances. So it means distant friends. Acquaintances, distant friends distant friends so not close friends not close friends distant friends so do get on well with your friends and acquaintances i try to do it but it's rather difficult i try to do it but it's rather difficult so please keep in mind that we mostly use rather before a negative adjective negative so please compare compare it's quite easy, it's quite easy, and it's rather, you see, and it's rather difficult, it's rather difficult. So we put quite before a positive adjective, like easy, good, it's quite good, and rather before a negative, and before a negative. So 
adjective. And I think it's okay that we train our listening skills, yeah, we train our speaking skills, and we also focus on grammar. So I think it's a good idea actually to have a look at different grammar structures. Okay, next. I suppose. I suppose. So you can say I think. But you know, if you say I think too often, so it's simple and maybe not so natural. So it's good to use different phrases and you can use I suppose instead of I think. So I suppose that the most difficult thing is to get on well with your enemies. So get on is a phrasal verb. So as we have already said, so get on well means to have good relations with your enemies. Yeah, strange enemies. So people who are not our friends. So it's the opposite word. It's the opposite word. So enemies, not friends. Like good and bad. So good and bad, opposite words. Friends and enemies. So these are opposite words. So, but sometimes you have to talk to different people. So look, have to, have to is, you know, a modal verb, is a modal verb. So you can say sometimes you must talk to different people. Do you know the difference? Do you know the difference between have to and must? So look, compare. I must, you know, I must learn English, so it's my choice, and I have to wear uniform, so you have no choice, and maybe you don't like it. So if you have no choice and you don't like it, we use have to. Look, sometimes you have to talk to different people. Okay, so let's have a look at this conversation. So conversation number number three, one more time. So you see, onion, when you disagree with someone, do you get on well with all your friends and acquaintances? I try to do it, but it's rather difficult. I suppose that the most difficult thing is to get on well with your enemies. Sometimes you have to talk to different people. So you can say have good relations or get on decent friends or acquaintances quite easy. So be before positive adjectives and rather before negative adjectives like rather difficult. Good. So the next conversation or the next dialect is about beauty. So beauty, it's a noun, yeah? It's a noun, it's a noun. So you see, it's a noun and beauty is talk about business. Would you like to have your own business? Your business or your own business? Would you like to have your own business? So own, it means uh, that belong to you, that will belong, that will belong to you, that belongs to you or that will belong to you. I think not. It's so risky. Risky. So please remember this adjective. It means uh, there is, um, it's full of risks. So risky, it means it's full of risks. Full of risks. I prefer to work for someone. It makes me feel safe. It makes me feel safe. It means that I feel safe. I feel safe. And you know this phrase it's about grammar make somebody make somebody do something make somebody do something so it makes me feel safe so it means I feel safe I feel safe because of it I feel safe because of it good I feel safe because of it so I'll make. I can say. I'll make you. I'll make you. I'll make you uh, speak English fluently. I'll make you speak English fluently. I'll make you speak English fluently. It means that you'll speak English fluently because of me, and I'll help you. I'll help you to do it. I'll try. I'll try. Really. I'll try to do my best to help you. So it's very important to speak English fluently. Okay, so business. Would you like to have your own business though that will belong to you? I think not. It's so risky. I prefer to work for someone. It makes me feel safe. Yeah, makes me feel. It's a good phrase. Yeah, and own business. Good. So, it's full of risks. So, please remember this structure. Make somebody do something. I feel safe because of it. 
So I'll make you speak English fluently. Good. Next. Businessman. Would you like to become a businessman? So you can say would you like to become or would you like to be a businessman? Would you like you often ask it this way? Would you like to become a businessman? Okay, it's an absolutely fascinating idea. So you can say it's a good idea, it's a very good idea, but it's mostly for beginners. If you want to speak English naturally, fluently, like native speakers, so you need to use more advanced vocabulary. Yeah, vocabulary. So you can say it's a fascinating idea, but absolutely it's like very. So please remember this thing that we put absolutely before strong adjectives. We put absolutely we put absolutely before before strong adjectives. We put absolutely before strong adjectives. So you can say so it's a very good idea. It's a very good idea. It's a very good idea. Or it's an absolutely fascinating idea. So fascinating is a strong adjective and you can't say very fascinating. No, it isn't correct. So it's an absolutely fascinating idea. I feel that I need financial freedom. Financial freedom and independence. So fr freedom, financial freedom. So what is financial freedom? So when you have enough money. I am not afraid of difficulties. Please remember afraid of. We use preposition of after afraid. I am not afraid of difficulties or I am not afraid of problems, troubles and so on. So businessman, would you like to become a businessman? It's an absolutely fascinating idea. I feel that I need financial freedom and independence. I am not afraid of difficulties. We put absolutely before strong adjectives. Please remember it. So it's a very good idea. Yeah, for example, you can say uh, this lesson is very good. This lesson is very good. You can write it in the comments if you do it. I'll be very happy. Or you can say that this lesson, this lesson is absolutely, is absolutely, is absolutely fantastic. Fantastic. This lesson is absolutely fantastic. You can say it's fantastic. But you know, this sentence is absolutely fantastic, it sounds stronger. So the lesson is very good, or the lesson is absolutely fantastic. Okay, so, cars. So, do you have a car? Yes, I have. So you can ask, do you have a car, or have you got a car? It's very reliable and comfortable. So, what is reliable? It means it's very good. You can rely on it. You can rely on it, rely on it so it doesn't uh, break down. So, it doesn't break down so often. It means, yeah, it doesn't break down.